Hello and welcome to Playing Game for Snap. Today we're back with Age of Vampires 2. We're on the learning campaign and we are doing research and technologies. So, I'll just let you listen to the thing and then we'll get right onto it. Rumours creep in from the south of a giant who leads the forces of Scotland, his great sword driving through earth and man and horse alike. If this mythical knight can hold the English advance, it will give us time to develop the arms we need. Even now, our smiths are forging swords, and Fletchers are making arrows and crossbow bolts. So, this mission pretty simple. All we are doing is build a few technologies and shit. You know, really simple. English use very advanced weapons and armor. Oh, I do apologize for a microphone today. I've had, what's that word, um, I have software that allowed me to filter background noise, and of course today it's not working, because why wouldn't it? For example, researching loom makes your villagers hard to kill. So we're going to need food, and then we're going to need two technologies. Yeah, 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 I'm not going to research. I mean, you think I'm going to do that? Oh, I'm sure you can already guess. I'm going to assume you can do it with a wonder now. In fact, I'm not even going to assume. I was messing around after Final Fantasy XIV raid the other day. Was that after raid? Ah, I can't remember. And yes, you can. Okay, so we're now just going to wait for that, and I believe the English will attack in a minute. And then we have to upgrade to Men of Arms, and then I believe we're done. Why aren't we killing the sheep? Yeah, I want to do the sheep. Oh, of course they are. You know, I love it on how this whole thing stresses about technology to beat the English, and yet they still got just militias like us. Ah, well. Oh, shit! Whoop! Did I just delete the... <laughs> shit. Oh, I muted my mic. Of, I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> I said it. I said it to someone the other day. I will press delete because um, my microphone mute button is also on delete. I should have changed it. I knew it. I freaking knew it. Ah oh, well. It's 175, isn't it? I need no two words. So fucking hell. I'm going to assume there's not much on this map, and it's just the same like for you. Oh yes, that was right. When I was experimenting with this level, there was another way to complete it. Attempt, and that it is. Okay, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Is it game speed on max? It doesn't feel like it. Okay, right. Now build a new town centre. Let's not blow this one up this time.
Right, and now we just wait for the upgrade to happen. And then I believe we upgrade to Menos Arms, and I believe that's the tutorial over. I have forgotten how long it takes to get to a new age. Right, so men of arms. And then I believe that was it. Upgrading to man at arms will change all your militia units to the more powerful men at arms. Near the minimap at the lower right corner of the screen is the idle villager button. Click and locate villagers who are not currently assigned nope. to it. No idle villagers. Now that you're in the fuel age, you can upgrade okay, here we are, to men-at-arms. Click the barracks, then click there we go. upgrade to men-at-arms. The English are attacking again. Teach them a lesson with your new men-at-arms. Yeah, sure. Sure, let go of that. Anyway, thank you for watching playing game for Snat, and I hope you watch the next one. Long chance has invaded, stormed, and sacked the city of Perth. It's worse, he's captured the fabled Stone of Scone and declared himself King of Scotland. If we cannot bring about a victory in battle soon, then the Scottish armies will be too demoralized to put up any fight at all. If this mythical Scottish giant does exist, I wish he'd get his forces up to Stirling, where we shall next do battle.